This year at Modex, we're showing three technologies. We're showing our AMRs. We're showing our six axis with an air skin, which basically takes a large 210 kilogram industrial robot and makes it collaborative. So the application we're showing today is one we've developed with our partner Hyperion out of West Michigan. And we've developed a simple pick and place application with our six axis robot that's palletizing and depalletizing. And then we're picking up fulls and empties with our AMR and cycling those throughout the process. So kind of doing a full solution from pick and pal and then delivery to line side. We've really developed an AMR portfolio that checks all of the boxes as far as what does the manufacturing space need. We need the standard communication protocols, the, the interfaces, the operator typical tendencies, how do they act around them. We've looked at all of those factors and developed a really unique solution for our portfolio. You automate something because you want to save costs, you want to be more productive and more efficient, and that's where these come in, right? When you're looking at an operator in, in an application that needs to finish an application and then load it onto a cart and push it somewhere, you're losing that product efficiency when they're not at their station, right? So if you can call the robot to come pick that up and deliver it to the next station or to the warehouse, you can really save their time and, and keep them at a value add station. We've worked with KUKA together to collaborate on this demonstration, showing off the KUKA Mobility products alongside a KUKA 6 Access robot with a third-party AirSkin product, making it collaborative, 3D vision to do the depalletizing process. Some of the AMR features that stand out to me are, for one, the low profile of the platform. The height of the platform makes a big difference. It gives us a lot of options on where we can utilize that platform without moving the load up too high. On a higher height platform, it raises the unit up, which can cause some ergonomic issues down the line, but if we keep it low, there's not a big impact to any operator where they still maybe need to interface with the product at that working height. There's a lot of benefits that people should know about with AMR solutions, and I think a lot of times people hesitate to go after an AMR solution in their facility. They think that the application needs to be a certain size before they can start receiving the return on investment, the cost benefits. But the reality is, as long as you can take an AMR into your facility and keep that AMR busy, that there's a good chance that there's an ROI in place for you. So it can start at a one robot size project and of course go up from there for how many are actually needed for the process. One thing that people should know about our product, again, is that it was developed for the manufacturing space. It's something we, we really looked at what were the needs of the market and we developed something that addresses those needs. You know, we're, we're not out here trying to push chassis as we call them. We don't wanna just throw markets into the field. We wanna make sure we're addressing the needs and solving solutions and applications for our end customers. What to expect when you join up with us at KUKA on the AMR front is really a partner. We don't want to just push you units. We want to make sure we're developing a solution with you that's going to work short term and something you can scale long term. Industrial Intelligence.